Good day and thank you for joining us. If you were here in last week's lesson, you remember that we re we revised some products of the year before in grade 9. So while well, this week what we'll be doing is carrying on with products except looking at some more advanced examples, right? That are more custom to your grade 10 level questions. So without further ado, let's get into the first example here. We have negative half and that's times in this binomial that is being squared. Cool. So, generally when we see this monomial times a binomial squared, what we want to do is obviously work on those brackets first. As the brackets are being squared, we need to square those brackets. So, <clears throat> we'll keep the negative half here. And what we'll do is we'll square the brackets, so we'll write the brackets three, twice over. So, it's negative 3x minus 2y over 3. And once again, negative 3x minus 2y over So once again, we'll keep that negative half outside. And now what we'll do is we will times these two brackets together. So when we times them together, they work into their own bracket, okay? So because they are timesing another term outside. So what we're going to do is negative 3x times negative 3x. We get positive 9x squared. Then we're doing negative 3x times negative 2y over 3. So what happens is, obviously, if you look, view this as a fraction, it's negative 3x over 1. And so, when we're timesing fractions, remember it is numerator times numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator, right? So what's happening here is we have a negative 3x times a negative 2y. So what we end up getting here is a positive 6xy over 3. And of course, here, if we look here now, we're moving on to the second term. Second term is the time in the first term in the second bracket now. And they work out to the same thing as it is the same two terms being times. And then we have finally negative 2y over 3 times negative 2y over 3. So remember, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. We get a positive. 2y times 2y gives me 4y squared. And 3 times 3 gives me 9. And we'll close off our brackets now and move on to the next line. So before we move on to the next line though, let's have a look here at this 6xy over 3. We know that 6xy over 3 is not in its simplest form. We can obviously simplify this fraction and by simplifying it, we can view it as just saying the 6 cancelling out of 3. 3 goes into itself once, 3 goes into 6 twice. So we're left with 2xy. So if we see here we have 2xy plus 2xy, we know that we are going to get 4xy. So what we'll do is we'll just write that in over here. So we have negative a half, 9x squared plus 4xy plus 4y to the power of not, um, to the power of 2, my bad, to the power of 2 over 9. So now what we'll go ahead and do is times this negative half into the bracket. So what we're going to get here, um, obviously viewing 9x squared as a fraction, it's 9x squared over 1. So numerator times num numerator, denominator times denominator. So this is a negative times positive, we get a negative 9x squared over 2. And then negative times 4xy, we get a negative 2xy. And then we have a negative half times 4y squared over 9. So we get negative 4y squared over 18. And so now our final answer will come down to minus 9x squared over 2. Obviously we cannot simplify this as that would bring us to a mixed number and we generally like to keep our things in improper fractions. And then we have negative 2xy and now we can simplify this fraction which will give us 2y squared over 9 as our final answer.
Moving on to our next example of here, we have a binomial squared times a binomial squared. So let's get into that. We have 2a plus 3b times 2a plus 3b. And then we have 2a minus 3b times 2a minus 3b. So what we'll do is we'll just focus on times in what was initially supposed to be times for each other. So we'll times these two first, then we'll times these two. And at the end, they will both be in their own brackets. So we'll times the two brackets by each other as well. So if we work this out, we get 2a times 2a, we get 4a squared. 2a times 3b, we get plus 6ab. Once again, we'll get another plus 6ab plus 9b squared. That's that 3b times 3b. Now we'll do 2a times 2a. We get 4a squared once again here. Minus 6ab now. Minus 6ab again. And we get positive 9b squared. Just to simplify both brackets because we have like terms in them. 4a squared plus 12ab plus 9b squared. Then we have 4a squared minus 12ab plus 9b squared. See now in this situation we have a trinomial now times by a trinomial. So we'll go ahead and work this out. We have 4a times 4a squared. Um, so we get 16a to the power of. So now remember when we are times in the same base we add the exponent. So it's 16a to the power of 4. 4a squared times negative 12ab, we get negative 48, a to the power of 3b, and then we have 4a squared times 9b squared, we get positive 36a squared b squared. And so that's the one term in the trinomial now that's been times into there. Now we'll move on to the second term. So now we have 12ab times 4a squared. What we end up getting is positive 48, a to the power of 3b. Now 12ab times negative 12ab, we get negative 144a squared, b squared. And then moving on, 12ab times positive 9b squared, what we end up getting now is a positive 108ab to the power of 3. So that's now the second term in the trinomial done, now we'll move on to the third term. So obviously we're going to work into the next line, so it's going to be a bit harder to keep track of everything, but we'll do our best. So now we have 9b squared times 4a squared. So that's going to be a positive 36a squared b squared. Then we have 9b squared times negative 12ab. We get negative 108a b to the power of 3. Then we have 9b squared times 9b squared. We get positive 81 b to the power of 4. And so that is our trinomial times our trinomial. And now what we'll have to do is revert back to rules of old and we will focus on finding our like terms. So here we can see we have a, uh, a cubed b. So we look for any other a cubed b's. Here we have one over here. And any others. So there are no other a cubed b's. So this is a negative 48a cubed b, and this is a positive 48a cubed b. So we know they will cancel each other out. Let's see if we have any other 36a squared b squareds, or a squared b squareds to find the like terms. Um, let's get a different color. So this is a squared b squared here. Do we have any others? Here is another a squared b squared. And then any others over here, we have a 
another one over here. So what's going to happen here is it is 36 plus 36 minus 144, which is going to give us our negative 72. So what we're going to do here is just start on the next line. We're going to have 16a to the power of 4. Obviously, we've already worked out that this 48 cancel out with that 48 of theirs was a negative and a positive. Now for our a squared, b squared, we worked out that we will get negative 72 a squared, b squared. Now we'll look for our next set of like terms. So here we have a positive 108 a, b to the power of 3. And we have a negative 108 a, b to the power of 3. So we know that these will can switch other out as well. And then our final term that's left over, we have positive 81b to the power of 4. So things that are very important when we are doing these type of examples is to just keep track of everything that we're doing here, okay? So we did the binomials and the binomials up here. So we got the trinomials now over here at our final answer for that. So we had to times the trinomials by each other. As you can see, we end up getting a lot of terms. And it's a lot to keep track of. So there's nothing wrong with reverting back to our old methods where we used to mark down what our like terms were. As they can be very helpful in us tracking what we are busy with, right? So just important things to note there. Moving on now to our next example. We have once again a trinomial times a trinomial. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So we have x squared times x squared. We get x to the power of 4. Moving on to, now to number 3, we have a monomial times a binomial squared once again. So what's going to happen is we're going to have the negative 2 stay outside. Remember, we want to focus on this binomial squared first. So we have x minus 3y squared times x minus 3y squared. So we have the minus 2 still outside there sitting, and we have an x squared here. We are starting to times out the brackets. Minus 3xy squared. And once again here, when we times this and this, we'll get a minus 3xy squared once again. And then a positive 9y to the power of 4. Let's just simplify our brackets quickly. We get x squared minus 6xy squared plus 9y to the power of 4. Now what we'll do finally is times this negative 2 into the bracket. So what we end up getting is negative 2x squared, positive 12xy to the power of 2, and a negative 18y to the power of 4. Now moving on to our fourth and final example for today's lesson, we have a a squared plus one and a half times an a squared minus one and a half. So if you can remember what I always say when we're working with fractions is we never want to deal with mixed numbers, right? So what we're going to do immediately is change those mixed numbers into improper fractions. Cool. So we'll have a squared to change this into a improper fraction if you may have forgotten we'll do the 2 over here times the 1 that will give us 1 plus 1 which gives us 3 right so 2 times 1 gives us 2 plus 1 gives us 3 so this is 3 over 2 okay so whatever answer we get we'll make that our numerator and keep the denominator the same and of course this over here being the same mixed number we'll obviously get 3 over 2 as well 2 times 1 gives me 2, 2 plus 1 gives me 3, so it's 3 over 2. Now what we go ahead and focus on doing is timesing these two brackets together. So what we'll start with is a squared times a squared, we get a to the power of 4. Then a squared times a negative 3 over 2. So a squared times a negative 3 over 2. Remember, if we view this as a fraction, it's a squared over 1. So we're timesing the a squared by the 3. Cool. So we get negative 3a squared over 2. 
and of course this one being exactly the same here we get again a negative 3a sorry this is positive 3a squared over 2 now because if we view here we are timesing this positive 3 over 2 times the a squared over there and then moving on here we now have the 3 over 2 times the negative 3 over 2 so we get negative 9 over 4 so just looking at what we have now left over we can see we have a positive 3a over 3a squared over 2 and a negative 3a squared over 2 which we know will cancel each other out So what's left over is going to be our final answer. We have 8 to the power of 4 minus 9 over 4. And that will be our final answer. Anyways, thank you so much for joining us in today's lesson. I hope that it went well for you and that after this lesson you surely do understand more advanced version of products. I'll see you at the next one.